Hey Thickies, welcome back to Thick Girls Guide, your official guide to all things fashion, lifestyle, and traveling. And in today's video, I am going to give you the 10 things that you never want to forget while you're traveling, especially as a plus size person. All right, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join the Thick Girl Gang, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. So when you're traveling, you always want to make sure that you're not forgetting obviously the necessities and all of the important items, but this will really dial down specifically for plus size women what we really cannot forget, especially when we're traveling internationally. If you're traveling within the US, you can pretty much find just about anything, but when you are going out internationally, it might be a different story. So that's why I compiled this list to kind of help everyone remember the very important items that you never want to forget. So let's dive in. So the first one is pretty basic and it is your undergarments. So bras, panties, that kind of basic stuff. Now, while you should that should probably be one of the first things you pack in general. I always tend to bring an extra bra because if a wire breaks or it rips or something, whatever happens to it, I at least have a backup. Because I know for me, trying to shop for a bra in the United States is already a bear in and of itself. It's awful. It's like the worst kind of shopping. And it's even gonna be worse than that in a different country. That's why it is probably one of the top things is always, always, always bring an extra bra of some sort. Um, and as well as panties, I always bring a couple extras and you always wanna make sure that they are your most comfortable ones, okay? There is nothing worse than you trying to enjoy a vacation and your underwear is going where it's not supposed to and riding up God knows where. And it's just like, terrible but also if you if your luggage were to get lost or something like that it is going to be pretty much a nightmare to try and find some comfortable underwear abroad so that is also why I would recommend with your extra bra and um, at least a few pairs of panties to put them into a carry-on if you are checking your bag that way you are not up a creek without a paddle Number two is the chub rub stick. Again, nothing worse when you're out walking around in your cute little dress or skirt or whatever, and then you start to chafe between your inner thighs, or you know, if you're someone who is wearing a kind of a tank top and your arms are, you know, kind of just rubbing and whatever is rubbing the wrong way, <laughs> um, the chub rub stick will save the day. And this is the one that I have from Amazon. I'm not gonna go dig it out of my little travel box, but this works really well, super small and travel friendly. I'll have it linked down below if you're interested. But again, there is nothing worse than chub rub. It's gonna only get worse from there if you continue to wear like dresses and whatnot. And the last thing you want is to be super uncomfortable and in pain on your vacation. So definitely don't forget the chub rub stick. The next thing I would make sure that you never forget is a fan. So this one is, this one was one that went pretty viral, I think on TikTok and whatnot. This one is pretty cool because it is a little fan so you can cool yourself down, but it is also, oh, and it has two settings on it. There we go. It is also a flashlight and then it also is a battery um, power bank as well. So this one I really like because it is, well, it's very small, right? So it's the palm of my hand here, but it also does 
more than a couple things, right? So it's all like three things in one, which is handy. The other neck fan that I have, it um, sits on your neck. I can't find it now, it's in my travel box. So I'll put a picture of it here. Um, but I had it in a couple other videos. But that one is really great if you wanna be hands-free and still have like that cooling fan on you at all times. So great if you're going through the change, ladies. I'm not there yet. However, I am ready for it with that fan. <laughs> um, but I did use this in Hawaii where it was like a bit more humid than what I'm used to and it worked out great, okay? So also I would recommend to have your hair up if you're gonna use that because I don't know if it would like suck your hair in or whatnot. I had my hair up, so it was not a problem for me, but it works great. It has three different settings on it as well and amazing, cannot recommend enough. So if you're in the market for um, either kind of fan, again, both will be linked down below and both are fantastic. The next thing that you do not want to forget is some kind of power bank or charger for your phone. Um, so I have two different types. So the first one I talk about probably every single video and that's because I can't recommend these enough, okay? iWalk, you should pay me, <laughs> but whatever. Um, so it's the iWalk charger. They make these for iPhone as well as, as, well as Android phones now and they are fantastic because all you do is plug it into the bottom of your phone here and it is super super comfortable it's about the same width as the phone so you can still use your phone and charge it at the same time so if you've been taking a bunch of photos and videos on vacation and all that jazz this is freaking amazing. It's also really, really small, easy to travel with. Um, I actually have this in my purse always. So just in case my phone's dying, you never know if like, I don't know, you're gonna get stranded or something. Again, I'm such a planner. So <laughs> I have plans on plans on plans. Um, <laughs> I don't like to be caught off guard, okay? Anyway, uh, these are fantastic, not even just for traveling, but again, for everyday use. I have a couple of them. The second one is just kind of a standard power bank. Um, these are obviously bigger, heavier. So these are great if you need to charge like something bigger, like a laptop or cameras or whatnot, something more than just like your iPhone, right? Sometimes airlines have restrictions on how big these can be. So check with your airline before you go take trying to take this on there. I've never had a problem with it, but they have restrictions. So it's up to them if they want to enforce it or not, I guess. But yeah, this one has um, three different, I don't know if you can see it, three different USB ports. And then there's a USB-C and a, like that Amazon charging one, whatever that is. I don't know what's called. USA, USB. I don't know. I don't know whatever the Amazon plug you know what I'm talking about if you don't look at your charger um, so yeah that one has all sorts of different plugs you can use with it and this one will again it'll charge like a laptop so it's she's hefty the next thing that you never want to forget is good walking shoes so especially if you're abroad there's going to be a lot of walking because let's be honest other countries do a heck of a lot more walking than we do here in America that might be why <laughs> the obesity rate is what it is because they eat well they eat smaller portions right but they also walk everywhere or bike everywhere so they're they get a lot more exercise than we do here in the states so uh, walking shoes are a must like good walking shoes very comfortable ones so you also want to make sure they're a little bit broken in before you try and take them abroad so they're not giving you blisters and all of that fun stuff but the reason i've included that is not that you can't find shoes abroad but as plus size people we have wider feet usually now i can get away with a regular width and a wider width but some people can't um, and actually a lot of plus size women cannot. And they do have wider feet. Well, abroad, they don't have wider feet as much. So they're probably gonna be very hard to find. And on top of that, if they're brand new and not broken in, that's gonna be a big ball of no fun for you. So that's why I say must bring your good walking shoes, the comfortable walking shoes. They are a must. The next thing that you cannot forget 
is kind of going back to the chub rub issue in the beginning. I have to have bike shorts or some kind of undergarment, Spanx, um, like little chub rub shorts. Whenever I wear dresses or any kind of skirt, that is what I feel more, most comfortable in. Um, and then if I need the chub rub stick, then I will use it on top of that if there's any chafing anywhere else. But more, majority of the time, I want some kind of undergarment that uh, puts a layer in between the thighs and prevents that from even happening. I also like that it kind of tightens everything up. It prohibits your wobbly bits from wobbling, you know? So that is why I recommend making sure that is on your packing list and not forgetting it. Again, it's gonna be very difficult to find uh, depending on where you're traveling to. Definitely something make sure is on your checklist. The next thing I'm so excited about because I'm a fat girl, okay? So <laughs> one thing you should never travel without is uh, a, at least a bottle of water. So whether you bring a water bottle with you to fill up at the airport or you buy one at the airport, whatever it may be, get yourself some water no matter what. Like, I don't care how you do it, do it. And the reason being is because if for some reason that flight gets stuck and it doesn't take off, they will not serve you on that plane until you're up to a certain altitude in the air. If there's any kind of case where you are delayed or you're stuck in the air, you at least have your own water to be able to drink. And along with that, snacks, okay? And that's where I said, the fat girl comes out, right? Because we are not traveling without snacks. We are not doing it, okay? Have you seen a big girl get hangry? It's not pretty, okay? So, I, and you know what? I don't know why I never thought to myself, you can bring on, you can bring snacks on a plane without any problems, but it's just the liquid that's a problem where you have to buy that or fill up your water bottle after TSA and security. Um, but for some reason, I had it in my head that you can't bring snacks on a plane. Well, that's not true, people. Yes, you can. Now, if it is something like peanut butter or something like that, that is considered a liquid. So you still have to abide by those rules. But regular snacks like crackers and chips and vegetables or whatever, you can bring all of that on just fine. So what I saw, another influencer, and I thought, and it's for children, okay, but I was like, I'm a grown ass woman and <laughs> I love this idea. So it is this, it's by Gobi. So it is like this circular container and the little window here, the little window opens and you have like your little snack compartment and then you push the button and it switches and you push the button and it switches. So this I thought was freaking genius to be able to pack yourself essentially five or six different little snackies all in one container and throw it in your little personal item bag so you are ready to go and you don't have to spend a fortune at the airport, right? So you can bring this stuff from home. Now, if you are going to be uh, traveling internationally, there are certain things they will not allow you to bring into the country. So like if you're bringing like fruits and stuff, you better eat it or throw it away before you get off that plane. When when they come and collect the trash, you better throw it away on the plane, I should say. Because um, if you step off with it, with it they're going to have a fit. So just be careful of that. Know where you're traveling, what's allowed and what's not. And also, again, make sure you're eating it. But also, this is fantastic if you're traveling with children too. Again, it gives them all of the options and then only one little area is open at a time. So even if they drop it or something, like all the snacks aren't gonna go flying or separate or get crazy. She's a little pricey, to be honest. This thing was like $30. And this is the, I think this is the large one. So they do have a smaller one. But um, again, I just thought it was like so cool. And you can tell like it's really good quality. Like she's, she's a little hefty. So you don't have to be as bougie as me and order a special little thing, but you can put things in little baggies. You can get a different little container that has um, compartments to it. So there's, I mean, you can get them at the dollar store, these like little compartment ones. So again, you don't have to be as fancy as that, but I just thought that was like super cool and 
loved it. So again though, bringing your own snacks and water on the plane is a must. And also, even though they do pass out snacks on the plane, um, again, they're just like usually like little packets of pretzels or whatever. And then if you get a meal on the plane, let's be honest, it's airplane food, right? It may not be great. You may not want to eat it or, or you may taste it and it's 10 kinds of weird and just not great um, and end up not eating it. So it's great to have something as like a backup. The next thing to never forget when you travel is, of course, your medication, especially prescription medication. So it's super important to have like a some kind of pill container um, to make sure you have all the necessary medication for yourself, especially prescription. This little blingy one, it does come with labels, so you can label them. I think they sell now, I think like on TikTok and stuff like the little kind of logoed ones too. So if you're not putting prescription ones in here, then you can label it like, you know, Pepsid AC or ibuprofen or whatever. Um, so you can tell them apart, but either way, I would make sure, especially for your prescription medication, but even on top of that, have a basic array of medications. So like allergy medicine, uh, because again, if you're going somewhere else and even in your home country that you're not used to or even abroad, there may be things you're allergic to that you didn't know about. And so the last thing you wanna do be, is be sneezing your fool head off, um, have itchy, crazy eyes. So that can really help to alleviate that. Um, another thing is things like ibuprofen or aspirin or you know things like that for kind of like mild aches and pains, headaches, stuff like that, menstrual cramps, that joy comes while you're traveling. But also um, I would say things for like potential constipation or uh, on the reverse side of that, Imodium AD kind of those kind of medications uh, because you never really know what's gonna happen when you're traveling or if something's going to upset your stomach. Honestly, it's like, it's great to have like a mini kind of first aid little pharmacy kit with you because you never know what you're gonna need. So again, this is my cute little blingy pill holder. Um, I also have a, another kind of basic, more basic pink one that comes in basic colors as well that I will link below if you prefer that. But yeah, they'll be linked. The next thing that you never want to forget, especially when you're plus sized, is your swimsuit. So if where you're going, if you're going to like somewhere like Hawaii or um, somewhere where there's water and water activities and you're gonna be doing that, you definitely wanna make sure you have your swimsuit. If it's um, gonna, going to be a lot of water activities, I would at least recommend bringing two. Um, again, kind of same thing with the, the bra issue. If one kind of breaks or something happens to it, you have a backup with swimwear. And also one can be kind of drying out and then you can wear a dry one the next day and vice versa and kind of switch on and off. If you're traveling internationally or something like that, if you do not have your swimsuit, it is going to be a nightmare and a half to find one that fits properly, Ex especially if you are kind of on the bigger end, I would say anything past probably like an 18, 20, it's gonna be a nightmare to find abroad. Um, it's already a nightmare to find in the States one that fits well and properly and correctly. But imagine trying to find one, <laughs> like if you're over in Europe, dear God, no. <laughs> so that is why that one is so, so, so important. Okay, and the last one, number 10 thing that I will never travel without is in-flight entertainment. Um, so again, if you're only going on a like a one hour, two hour flight, it's really no big deal, right? You can entertain yourself. Um, you know, you still have your phone probably. There's some games you can play. You can watch movies on the flight or whatever. But if you're going on a really long flight, like four, three, four plus hours, um, or the international where it's even longer than that, uh, this is a must and you're gonna kick yourself if you forget it. So I bring a multitude of different options with longer flights. So one thing I will never travel without are my Apple AirPods. These are so worth the hype. I say it pretty much in every video, kind of similar to the iWalk charger. I can't recommend these enough. 
but some kind of headphones, whether you prefer the over the ear kind or the wireless. These are so important for watching movies or even on your phone playing games um, and whatnot. The other thing I would recommend is to make sure either on your phone or if you're bringing a tablet, download your entertainment as well. So if you're watching a show on Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever, make sure it's downloaded before you're on the plane. I also recommend to bring either like a hardcover or maybe not a hardcover, but bring an actual book. So one that is not on your tablet or phone. So when your eyes need a rest from the tablet or the screens or whatnot, you kind of have something else that can entertain you. You could also get like activity books like word searches, um, Sudoku or Sudoku or whatever, however you say that one like kind of things like that as well, just to keep you occupied. If you've got kids, maybe some coloring books or something to keep them occupied as well. Um, but just kind of a variety of different things. I, I don't like to be just sitting there and bored. This is something I definitely plan out and think about to make sure that I have everything I need when I'm in flight. All right, so that was my video on the 10 things not to forget when you're traveling mostly plus size edition and I hope you guys found it helpful and again don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content and give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.